Hello, everyone. I'm Dr. Ramya, junior resident of Mysore Medical College, Department of Radio Diagnosis. Thank you for uh, Indian Radiology for giving an online platform to present my paper on title Role of Magnetic Resonance Imaging in Evaluation of Traumatic Ankle Injuries. Coming to introduction, traumatic injuries of the ankle are most common musculoskeletal injuries and accounts approximately 10% of all visits to emergency department. Ankle injuries can happen to anyone at any age, most commonly between 15 to 24 years old, and have higher rates of ankle sprain compared to the women older than 30 years who have higher rates than men. Half, half of all the ankle sprains occur during an athletic activity. The most common ankle injuries are sprains and fractures, which involves ligaments, bones in ankle, but can also tear or sprain tendon. Magnetic resonance imaging is the most accurate diagnostic procedure for evaluation of traumatic ankle injuries like ligamentous injury. The diagnostic accuracy of MRI, ultrasound, and stress radiography, when compared to a gold standard, arthroscopic surgery was found to be 97, 91, and 67% respectively in determining tears of anterior talofibular ligament. Accurate localization of the tears are achieved in 93% of cases when MRI was used as diagnostic modality, whereas ultrasound could only localize only 63% of cases. Coming to aims and objectives. Mm -hmm. To assist the various magnetic resonance imaging features of traumatic ankle injuries and to characterize the ankle injuries based on MRI features. Materials and methods. The main source of data this is a very uh, this is a descriptive study on the patient uh, who has clinical suspicious of ankle injury following trauma referred to our department, which is uh, um, which is attached to the PRH Hospital, Mysore Medical College. Most of the cases are apart from the orthopedics department. Uh, time period is a tenure of 15 months from Jan 2021 to March 2022. Study type is descriptive study, and sample size was 55. Sample size was calculated using a Simple proportion formula with 95% level of confidence, 80% uh, power, and privilege of 5% with 8% absolute error. The inclusion criteria were patient presenting with history of ankle sprain following trauma, patients who are referred with a clinical suspicious of ankle injury, who has uh, given a return cons consent for our present study, and patients of all age groups were included under the study. Exclusion criteria, patient with history of non-traumatic ankle sprain, which includes an infectious causes or metabolic or tumor or any uh, surgeries to the ankle joint. Patient with the pyrometallic uh, implants or pacemakers or aneurysm scripts were excluded from this study. Patient with claustrophobia was a relative contraindication and patient not willing to give and return consent were excluded from the study. The results in discussion. The present study of mine, which included 55 patients, mainly ranged between the 19 to 76 years old, and most of them come under the age group of 21 to 30 years. It's around 38%, and mean age group were 37.2. And this result was uh, concordant with the previous studies of Ash Ashwin and its uh, uh, and the co-members, which include 50 patients with ankle pain, and majority of the patients with ankle pain were between the age group of 20 to 30 years. And gender distribution, mainly the male population were commonly affected, that is around 67.3%, and female were 32%. The MRI diagnosis of different pathologies. In my study, the most common pathology was the ligamentous injury, which occurred in 83% of cases. Then the second, second most common was the joint effusion, which occurred in 67.3% of the cases, followed by the tendon injury, Sorry, followed by the bone injury, then the tendon injury. Types of ligamentous injury. The type 1 sprain was most commonly seen in 71% uh, of the patient. 71% of the patient, which is followed by the partial tear, around 22% of the cases. And the com your complete tear was uh, very rare. And was seen only in one, one of the patient, that is uh, accounting for 1.8% of the patient. Based on the site of ligamentous injury among the study population, the most common ligament in the US is lateral collateral ligament, 
followed by the followed by high ankle injuries then the medial collateral ligaments based on the distribution of the ligamentous injury in the study most common ligament injury is anterior talofibular ligament which accounts for 56% of four four cases followed by calcaneo fibular ligaments which account for 45% of the cases other ligamentous injuries were as followed as given on the graph distribution and pathological classification of lateral ligamentous injury based on the study was as i already said anterior talofibular ligament is a common ligament injury as such and in our case also in our study also this is the most common uh, uh, reported injury distribution of actually stand on injury based on the age group uh, in this present study that's uh, uh, actually stand on stand on were the most commonly uh, in men compared to the female and the age group with distribution is between 32 to 65 years with mean age group of 51 years similar results were seen in karat and etton where a uh, uh, mean age group of the patient with actually stand on injury was 40 years with male predominance different bone injuries diagnosed by mri the most common injury is the contusion is the most commonest followed by the fractures different bone injury identified in our study was as i said contusion in 23% of the cases and fractures in 12% of the cases osteochondral lesion and osteonecrosis in, in uh, 3% of the cases coming to the image gallery so this is a case of the complete uh, anterior talofibular tear this complete disruption of the anterior talofibular fibers of the right ankle joint with surrounding signal intensity this is the t2 image and pd image partial tear of tar anterior talofibular and posterior talofibular ligament there is an increased signal intensity with partial thickness tear of anterior and posterior talofibular ligaments of left ankle with mild fluid can be seen partial partial tear of calcaneo fibular ligament we can see there is an thickening and increased signal intensity along the calcaneo fibular ligaments of left ankle grade one strain of deep layer of deltoid ligament there is inter substance t2 and uh, stir images shows an hyper intensity in the deep layer of the right deltoid ligament such to contusion of medial uh, and also there is a contusion of medial malar and talus actually stand on tendinosis next case is the complete tear of actually stand on there is a complete disruption of the actually stand on fibers measuring approximately for length of 3.6 cm and site of insertion well appreciated on the pd images and this retracted uh, tendon is filled with a high signal high signal intensity edema conclusion the unique anatomy of the ankle and its functional relationship with the foot make it highly suspicious to injury in addition to the thorough history and clinical examination images is needed for the diagnosis and to create a plan of care in a patient with ankle injuries different imaging modality are used to evaluate ankle joint including plain radiograph ct ultrasound and mri mri has a unique cap capability to evaluate osseous ligaments tendinous and muscular injuries around the ankle in a single imaging study mri also allow characterization of the injury based on known biomech uh, biomechanical pattern mri is a modality of choice in evaluating ankle injuries due to an high soft tissue contact resolution and multiplanar capabilities it provides a non invasive tool for diagnosis of ankle injuries which are often difficult to diagnose with alternate modality these are my references thank you